guys, welcome to an Urban Viking <coughs> review. Uh, I'm very happy because I've got about uh, two days off now. Well, including today, it's three days I suppose. I've just come off night, so um, it's sort of mid-afternoon. I've only been out for a few hours. But I've got so many beers now, I need to get start getting through some and doing some reviews. Um, so I've decided to sort of um, start off with some of the ones that I'm not really, I haven't got great expectations for. Um, hopefully I'll be proved wrong, but we shall see. Um, okay, is that camera straight? I can't tell. Yeah, that did. Right, okay. The first one I'm going to be trying is one that I got from Beers from Europe. Um, it wasn't very expensive, and it's uh, Zelta Black. Okay, big old bottle. Well, it's a 500ml bottle, but... Anyway, um, I believe this one's... Where is this one from? I, th I thought it was German. Um, Latvia. Okay, so this is a Latvian beer. Uh, black black beer, I'm assuming, or lager. 4.2%. Uh, um, yeah, so let's give it a crack. I won't be needing the BB for this one because it's got one of those little um, pull caps. So. Oh, that's lovely. That came off easy enough. <laughs> okay. Uh, I'm assuming this is like pretty uh, popular in in Latvia. This might be like one of their uh, macros, but let's give it a go. Like I say, I haven't got massive expectations for this, but it's just nice to have a couple of days off and try some beers again. So really looking forward to it. Um, so there you go. It's got a nice, nice little colour, um, tiny little head. Uh, almost looks like a, a glass of coke. That head's uh, disappearing quite quickly as well. Um, right, let's give it a nose, see what we're getting. Oh, I'll tell you what, that's not too bad. I'm getting some really nice sort of um, sweet uh, malty uh, smells on that. Quite fruity as well. What is that? It's like um. Hang on a minute. Let me get that swirl in a bit. Get a bit more of a. That's like a a sultana or something like that. That's uh, been soaked in um. Like hot water. Uh, gives it like a really warm sort of sweet sultana smell. There's some really nice. Um, multi notes on this one. I'm also getting a, a really tiny bit of smoke as well, but that's I'll tell you what, that surprised me, the smell has anyway. Um, we'll see how the taste goes. Cheers guys. Okay, um camera's really high, isn't it? Um, sorry, I've got to sort this out a bit. Sorry about that. It's my head. It's so massive. I'll try and get it all in. Oh, black metal. Right. Let's get back to it. Right, it's a strange one. Um, the first taste you get in... Sorry, this whole review is just going to be this camera changing. Sorry. The first taste you're getting is um, almost quite a sort of peaty, earthy, dirty sort of um, smell combined with a sweetness. Um, you know, like if you're in the countryside or in a rural area and you wind on the window down, you get that sort of horrible, almost cloyingly sweet stink of manure. Now imagine if that was scaled down. Imagine that smell was 100 and then you scaled that down to about 5. Um, and added a bit more sweetness. That's the initial taste you get on this. Uh, there's not a lot of carbonation. It's definitely that sort of... It's hard to describe, it's, but the thing is it's not unpleasant. Then that goes away and then you sort of get this... Uh, almost like a, a really mild sort of lager hop. Um, which sort of... Um, sort of trails into a little bit of bitterness and then and then it goes back to that sort of um composty sort of smell. It's really strange. 
it's like my initial reaction was to dislike it. Um, but then it sort of grows on you as you're drinking it. It's really strange. I don't know if it's the water they've got down in Latvia. Is it Latvia? Sorry. Yeah, Latvia. I don't know. Uh, if anyone, <laughs> you know, you never know. If there is anyone from Latvia watching this, or someone who's been to Latvia, or someone who's tried this beer, let me know and let me uh, tell me what you think of it. I think it's really unique. It's got a really unique flavour. Yeah, it's basically <coughs> sweet compost with a little bit of lager. Um, the aftertaste is quite sweet. That's the one thing that is putting me off a bit. Um, it tends to get sweeter the, uh, the more you drink it. Um, but, you know, it's an, I suppose it's going to be an acquired, acquired taste. It's good enough. I like it because it's original and... Um, and it's drinkable, so that's going to get from me. I'm going to give that a six and a half out of ten. No, actually, no, that's a bit cruel. I'm going to give it a seven out of ten. It's not too bad. I would drink it again if someone had that in their fridge and offered it to me. I'd neck it easily because um, it's uh, got a nice, unique flavour and it's not um, in your face. So, yeah, good stuff. Um, thanks for watching. It's a lovely day out there. I might go out and uh, take some pictures. So. Anyway, that's nothing to do with a beer review. Cheers! Mmm! Well, that was rubbish. Cheers!